Hey guys, uh, welcome to the first video of the Duck Tape of the Duck Brand 99 channel. In this channel or on this channel, I'm going to do videos of duct tape crafts and what you can do with duct tape. Now, the first few things that you're going to need when you're doing duct tape crafts is a cutting surface to cut on. You can use a cutting board or whatever you want, but this is a what I'm using. I'm using this. This is a self-healing cutting board, and what that is is it's <clears throat> kind of made of a hard rubber. So whenever you cut with your exacto knife or scissors or on it, whatever. You come back in a couple of minutes and it'll kind of be sealed back up and there will be no more cut over there. Just a little mark. So, uh, yeah, so let's get started and I'll show you the things that you need. So you need the cutting board. You need, obviously, some duct tape. You'll need uh, an exacto knife. I have a set with quite a few and some blades. And the other thing that you'll need is a pair of good, strong scissors. And <clears throat> you can get different colors of duct tape and stuff, but I just, I have 12 rolls. I have 11 different colors and 12 different rolls. rolls, And that means that I have two rolls of gray. So I'll get going. And so, as you can tell by the title of my video, I'm going to be making... I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape wallet. So let me just get a better angle for me. Right there. Hopefully you can still see. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out 9 inches of duct tape. Exactly 9 inches. And what you're going to do is you can use your scissors or whatever. I'm just going to use my exacto knife. You're going to cut out 9 inches. So my 9 inches would be right down here. Just cut as straight as possible. You don't have to cut very hard. And you're going to do that 8 times. So do that 8 times, set them aside somewhere, and do that step right now, and I'll get back to you in 1 second. Hey guys, I've cut out the, <clears throat> the the eight strips of duct tape. The other five are in a different place on my desk because I only have so much space on the cutting board. So <clears throat> the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take two of these nine-inch strips and you're going to lay one of them down like this. You're going to lay one of them down like this with the sticky side up, with the adhesive showing up. And then you're going to do the second one, and you're going to put it with the sticky side going down, and you're going to try to stick that as straight as possible. Oops, I messed up the part of the duct tape. <clears throat> you're going to try to stick that down as straight as possible on the other piece of duct tape as you can. So, <clears throat> it should be just like that, with no wrinkles or anything in it, as you can see. There's no wrinkles, no nothing. Something there, And you're going to do that. <clears throat> but So next, you're going to take another strip, and you're going to stick it about, mm, I'd say, half an inch down on this duct tape. This is with the sticky side showing down. So it, it looks like that. You can see the little place where I stuck it down right there, but a half an inch. <clears throat> so that there's still sticky side showing. Then, I'm going to flip it over, get another piece of duct tape, and just cover up the rest of that sticky side. Oops, just like, just cover up the rest of the sticky side, just like that. Okay, if it's not perfect, because this is going to be the inside of the wallet. <clears throat> Try to do as straight as possible like I did. Now there'll be some more sticky side. I'm going to take another piece of duct tape and oops, you're going to cover up the rest of the sticky side so that there's a lot of the other sticky side on this piece of duct tape, like that. So now, if you flip it over, there's a lot of sticky side there. And you're going to take one more piece of duct tape and you're going to line up both sticky sides at the bottom of the duct tape instead of the top this time. To cover up the rest of the sticky side. 
but make it so that there's no more sticky side showing. Just like that. So there's no sticky side showing anywhere. That's perfect. You're supposed to do it just like that. That's good. And this is... This is five and a quarter inches, about. <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to line it up so that it's six inches. <clears throat> six inches down. So what I'm going to do for that is... I'm going to line it up with the 6 inches here on my cutting board. You can do this with your ruler if you don't have a cutting board. And then you're going to stick the part down at the 1 inch spot. You're going to stick it down so that it lines up with this line at the bottom so that it can't move around at all when you're trying to stick it down after. Just like that. <clears throat> kind of stick it down a bit. And so then you're going to line it up with the six inches and just plop it down just like that. I got a couple wrinkles in it because this isn't very good duct tape. Don't worry. I'll, I only use duct brand duct tape. This isn't duct brand because I ran out of my duct brand making wallets. So I just lined it up with six inches. Then the last piece of duct tape. Just gonna cover up the rest of the sticky side, right there. So pause the video, do that, and then come back when you are done. Okay, guys. So the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out two strips of duct tape that are three inches long, which I have right here. Now. What you're going to do is you're going to take that sheet of duct tape that you just made, and if there's one side that isn't that doesn't look that good, and for me that is, uh, let's say, it's this side, you you want to make that the middle. So what you're going what you're going to do is you're going to fold it up so that it just lines up like you're doing origami. So you're, it's like you're folding a piece of paper in half, but you're folding the sheet of duct tape in half. Try to do it as straight as you can, and just like that it should be perfectly straight if it's not it's okay it doesn't have to be perfect this, this might just be your first one I'm not sure this is my first one but okay so just like that you're gonna take one of the three inch strips of duct tape and you're gonna gonna stick half of it on this side of the wallet half of it just like that stick half of it there the whole thing over and sorry, mine's not totally straight, so I'll make it perfectly straight. And then stick the rest of it on the other half of the wallet. So now you can kind of see your wallet starting to take shape. <clears throat> and you're going to do that on the other side of the wallet, and so do that step. Okay, guys, so after you've done that step of sticking the two sides together, your wallet should just look like this. And you'll start seeing your wallet take shape. Next thing you're going to do is make credit cards or card holders in your duct tape wallet. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out another four strips of duct tape that are each four inches long. So you're going to do the exact same process, but a little different. You're going to take... Take two of the strips, you're going to lay one down flat. It's like the very first step of making the wallet. Take oh, okay. two strips, lay one down flat, and then, why is this being so difficult? Well, um, two strips, down flat, like I just did. I'm going to try to do it. Stop being so weird. I don't know why. Okay, there, got it. So, you know, lay two strips. One strip down flat, and then you're going to put the other one straight on top of it as best you can. I'm pretty experienced, so I'm a lot better than pr probably most of you are. I've been doing this for a couple of years, just haven't been making videos on it, but now I am. So you can see that, and you're going to do that with the other one, and so do that step. Okay, guys, so after you've done that, you're going to want to start sticking on your credit card holders. What you're going to do, once you've done that, is going to cut out four strips of four strips of duct tape that are each one inch long, and two strips of duct tape that are four inches long. What you're going to do is you're going to start off 
with one of the one inch strips and you're going to stick it on one of the credit card holders just like that stick half of it on you can see that there's half of the sticky side and you're gonna stick that the rest of the sticky side over on the other part but and if you want to make multiple credit card holders I'm gonna do a tutorial on that 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 links gonna be right there and if you want to see how to do an ID slot that links gonna be right right there right beside the other one whatever I can't point there right now so you're gonna stick the rest of the sticky side over you can see that's stuck on right there you're gonna take one of the four inch strips and stick again half of it on flip it over make sure that you're not messing it up or anything and stick the oops I kinda messed that up stick the other half of it on here now you can see that there's just this one little part so you can take another one inch strip of duct tape and you're just gonna stick again another half of it on credit card holder and boom just like that now that is a finished credit card holder that's only one credit card holder now do the same on the other side just kind of little opposite and do that step right okay guys so once you've done that step once you put the other credit card holder in so now you can see that there's two credit card holders and the billfold for the money it's called the billfold because you put in bills as, after you've done that, you want to fold the wallet in half as best you can, just like that, and sit a heavy book on it for about mm, five to ten minutes, maybe, and that should give it a nice crease. And I, I suggest putting in multiple credit card holders and an ID slot if you have an ID, because I do for school, and it's just a really good idea. So go to that tutorial right now, and yeah. So thank you for watching. I'll have more of these videos. I'll try to make more videos next week. Uh, I might be a little backed up because I just got some pretty cool presents for Christmas. And uh, thanks, guys. Have some better videos up later. And uh, bye.